throughout the world of testing, there's always one guy that seems to take the hit in the name of safety. He's a crash test dummy. At a laboratory in Holland, they test them to ensure their reactions are as human as possible. Ouch! Ow! First up, the head drop test. Inside the head are three sensors for measuring acceleration or deceleration, one for each direction. A sensor in the neck measures the forces on the dummy. The head is held by an electromagnet. When the button is pressed, the current is cut. Ow! The deceleration, the rate at which the head slows when it hits, is measured in G. The lower limit is set to 100 G, and the upper limit is set to 150 G. The value we measured is 125 G, so that's right in the middle. So we can say that the head has passed its certification. Next, the knee impact test. A five kilogram weight is dropped onto the knee to measure the displacement. Ouch! Here, a new dummy is about to be hit full in the ribs. He has three abdominal force sensors and his shoulders rotate realistically to expose his side. Where a human body would break, the dummy stays intact and measures the damage. In fact, a dummy can last for 20 years, but it needs to be recalibrated every few crash tests to make sure it's still accurate. Ow! Lastly, it's time for the frontal chest test, the kind of forces the dummy could go through if it hit the steering wheel. If you tried to push the dummy's chest with your hand, you'd get about a centimetre in. With this test, it's compressed more like seven centimetres. Nasty stuff, but it's these simulations that save lives. And this dummy is a pass.